and welcome back. Uh, uh, welcome to the assembly seminars. Uh, it's nice to see that everybody has woken up. Um, about the seminars, the topics are getting more and more amazing as we go along. And when I first hear about this one, I was sure, ladies and gentlemen, that we are living in the future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, Pekka Salokanel here is to tell us more about this subject. It's about 3D printing and how to make real products with 3D printer. So Pekka, please tell us more. Yes, thank you. Um, first, I will put the machine on. You won't see it, but you will see it, uh, what it will make during this speech. So, let's start. Um, my name is Pekka Salokannel, and I'm a technical artist at Tinkercad.com. And uh, I have an industrial designer background. I studied in Lahti, and uh, I have been working for a few companies after school. But I really got excited about 3D printing about three years ago. So you could say that I've been hobbying 3D printing since three years. And I started at Tinkercad around January. So let's go further. So today's topic is about how to make real products in your browser with Tinkercad and 3D printing. And the agenda, we go through 3D printing and Tinkercad and the community of Tinkercad, how they use these two tools. And also, uh, I won't show you demo, but the video today. So what is 3D printing then? Some of you have heard maybe about it, that what it's all about and uh, what it's capable of. So 3D printing is just a manufacturing method. It's nothing more than that, but it's the power that you can do real products in your browser at home with 3D printing. So, we had, yep, let's try with this one. Do you hear better with the microphone? This one? Okay, great. Now it's yours. Good. So, 3D printing is no less than said to be the third industrial revolution. So that's going to be a big thing, you know. And uh, if we took look back in time that what was the first industrial revolution, it brought machines to us. The second brought the technology. Later on, electricity, computers and the internet. And that's why we all are here today, actually, because of the internet. So if we look time back to year 1995, which is just 17 years ago, only two decades or less, everybody haven't heard yet about the internet then. Some of people have heard about it, what is the internet and what it's capable of. Well, we know now today what it's capable of and we can't actually live without it anymore. So everybody work around it, and it's everywhere. So when we come to this year, to the year 2012, some of you may have heard about 3D printing, but you definitely don't know what it will be capable of, and how will it affect to our world. So here you see an old, or nowadays, manufacturing method. You have a simple simple plastic spoon which is kind of cheap and uh, don't have a great value but you have to have a huge block of iron to make this single small piece so you actually need all this kind of material to do it huge block of iron and if you add to it uh, design engineering and mold making cost. It costs a fortune. Which end up to a situation that you actually have to make million of them to even start the production. 
With 3D printing, you can do one single piece, and it costs the same as unit as you make million pieces of it. So this is the magic about 3D printing. So here is an example of a basic shape ball. So if you think about solid ball, that's the easiest way to make a ball normally, in normal manufacturing way. But with 3D printing, actually these complex looking balls under it are cheaper to produce. So less you have material, cheaper it gets. So this unleashes your creativity. You don't need to worry anymore about the molds, what is possible and what is not possible to do. Everything pretty much is possible to do. So here is a few examples how 3D printing have been taken in different industries. So for example, medical solutions, there is a jawbone, which is not a concept, it's a real deal, which was placed on a Dutch lady this year. It's made in titanium, 3D printed in titanium. So it was scanned her real jawbone and then they 3D print the replica from titanium. And now she's fine. Then there is also sport car parts, like in Formula One, it's already used 3D printing. Aircraft industry, instruments, so on. Even NASA is at the moment researching possibilities to have 3D printers in the space. So that astronauts don't have to anymore bring the tools from the Earth, but they can do it in the space. So there is already over 100 different materials existing for 3D printing. And let's say 20 you can easily from your home, home order. So there is all kinds of metals. There is gold, silver, titanium, stainless steel, uh, dozens of different plastics, ceramic, and even glass. And the materials go on. So what this makes? It does that, that manufacturing is shifting back to the consumers. If you think time back in 100 years ago, there was the small towns and villages where you had all the makers right next door to you. So there was a blacksmith who made the horseshoes or a door handle for you. And the tailor next to you who made for the special days your outfit. Or if you had to repair your clothes. So we are getting back to that point if we are wise enough to use 3D printing and the internet together to bring up these communities around you right next to your door, back to that time, kind of. So using new technology, but old methods, basically. So this is only a beginning, as you see. So there is all the different possibilities to make with the 3D printing. And you can start to do that to your, by yourself today already. It's affordable. You can do it at home or everywhere where you have just the internet connection. That's simple it is. So what is Tinkercad then? Tinkercad.com is a leading hobby 3D design tool, which is aiming to bring 3D design to the masses. So we are not focusing on professionals, but everybody. All the people who are interested to learn new things, to learn new technologies. Tinkercad is a 3D design web app which runs in your browser. So that's all. You need the internet connection and you're ready to go. Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. That's what Einstein said, and that's exactly what Tinkercad is all about. As you see here, there is a basic geometrical shapes, which is really adorable, fun-looking and easy-looking 3D objects. So that's what we do. We make it look fun and easy, and that's what it is. We don't show gray background with the wireframe shapes, which is hard to understand for regular people. 
That's for professionals. But we want to do it so that everybody can understand it. So here is a basic workflow. How do you, how do, you do products in Tinkercad? You have an idea. You maybe draw it or you have it in your mind. That's fine. Then you make the design in Tinkercad and then you just 3D print it. It's that simple. And if you have an idea, you don't want to even design it yourself. You can always browse ready-made designs and just 3D print them. Here is my example of this workflow. I had an idea that I want to make eyeglasses. And I thought that eyeglasses are one of the best solutions for 3D printing. Why is that? Well, eyeglasses are personal object, which you wear basically every day if you need eyeglasses. So there is a lot of um, need for precision, for comfortable, that it fits for you. It's not only that they stay on your face, but also that it fits to your face. They look good, it have a right color, and so on. And it's really hard to find that kind of eyeglasses from the shop. So why don't you just do it yourself then? So I did it, I did it in Tinkercad, and now you can see it on my face, 3D printed eyeglasses, which I ordered from the 3D printing service. I did it at home, and I ordered it. It took about two weeks, and now I have it on me. It's as simple as that. So how do you get this? As I said, it took two weeks. So there is two different ways to get the 3D print parts. So either you send straight from our site, pushing the button to print 3D, you get this pop-up window and you can send it to the 3D printing service. They are still in somewhere in, in the Netherlands, in the US and so on, but further we go, they come to locally to you. So I hope there is in, in one, two years, we have here locally a service to buy those products. There is printers here, it's not about that, but there is not services yet as good enough as these are what we have partnered with. So you just push the button, it automatically uploads these files to their service, and then you just choose the material, what you want, you see the price, and you order. That's simple. Also, you can download always the file. If you have to ha happens to have this kind of MakerBot or other home 3D printer, and then you just 3D print it. If you don't have it, you can always find maybe a library or makerspace near you where you can do the same thing. So Thinkercad is the most powerful toolbox you've ever had. Because you don't need any more saw or drill to make products. You don't take the material off. 3D printing is additive material, you add material, you don't take it off. So it means that once you do it online, virtually the product, you can 3D print it ready. Here we have, for example, a tie. I made it with Tinkercad. It's a chain-like construction and they are all moving parts. This is not possible with regular traditional manufacturing methods. So, let's go to the lessons, and uh, it's about, I'll show you three things of Tinkercad, which is main things. So the lessons are easy, step-by-step -step tutorials, where you can follow them. As you see here, if you just put the piece, the ball, on top of the pawn, you'll have a ready chess piece then made. As you see it here, we got the chess pawn. 3D printed with your home printer. That simple. And we have the instructions next to you. You can read it, but you can pretty much see it already, what to do next. It's a bit like doing Legos. You watch the instructions and you learn by doing, not watching tutorial videos and trying to remember them, how it really went. You actually learn by doing it. So here is a few of our lessons, what you can follow. You can do them, you can open them, step by step follow them. 
They look pretty adorable, don't they? But actually, the greatest thing is that once you do these lessons, you already start to create real products. So the first minute you start to do and use Thinkercad, you are doing real products, which you can 3D print. So here you have the party glasses, for example. It's not only a 3D design, it's a real product. And here you have the dice, what you got there on the screen. If you print five of them, then you have a Yahtzee game, and so on. So, it's about doing it yourself. Why would you do it yourself? Well, it has the greatest value if you do things yourself. And you also learn new things. And that always gives a good feeling for yourself. So let's say you have born in Finland. Everyone have made a bark boat when they were small children. You put it to the sea and you wish that it goes to the overseas. Well, probably it came back to the shore. Then you just put it on the shelf. But let's say 20, 30 years after you see it on the shelf, you have the greatest value because you have made it and you have good memories about it. The same thing if you happen to be born in Japan. For sure you have made an origami. And the first crane, what you folded from paper, that's valuable for you. You can always do products for yourself and for your friends and family. And it always have a great value. So, doing it yourself, it's about that you learn to, to uh, design the products of your life. It doesn't matter what you do. You can do a case for your Raspberry Pi. You can do home decoration, a lamp, or a coffee cup, like we have here from Ceramic. It's all about what you need, what you want to do, what do you want to learn. Next we go to community, which is actually the greatest part of the Tinkercad. Without community, we would be just another 3D program. So there you go. There is a few examples how you browse the, the community and how they share their designs there. So the community is about sharing, it's about learning, and it's about inspiration. If you start from a blank page at home, it's hard to find what do you want to do. But because of the community, you might be in a group of people and you might uh, communicate with them, what's next, what's my next project, and so on. So it's a great tool for inspiration. And here is a small example what I did for you guys today, is that one of my biggest dreams is to build a house someday. And uh, it might happen in few years or in 10 years, I don't know yet. If I wait enough long, there will be 3D printed houses and I will do it that way. It's already in the research, so it's not a skiffy idea. There is already research about 3D printing concrete, and I mean big scale, as a house scale. So, it's not only about the house thing, but I did the outer shell, how the house looks like. But all the moving parts, all the furnitures, inside and outside, are done by other people. It's not done by me. I just added them, I took it from our community, and everything is shared there, everything is available to use. So you don't have to always start from the scratch if you don't have a good idea. Maybe you do something which is already done, you modify it for yourself, you get new ideas, and so on. So now I want to show you seven great stories of our users, which are the stars of us. So here, for example, we have Arian Croft, one of our power users of Tinkercad. He has done amazing designs, and he does this for board games, tabletop games, and so on. Little figures for those games. They have with his friends, they have ill-gotten games, and he is a lead designer and co-founder of this. 
small organization or a company. I'm not sure is it a company even really. But anyway, this is just a great example how you can use 3D printing and how you can use Thinkercad to make your dreams come true. As Arian said, 3D design gives dreamers like me and my friends the chance to transform our dreams into a physical reality. This is his own words. So let's go to the next one. Here you see a cute little robot, which is actually a chess set. So it may look like a robot, but it's a chess set. So this is done by Joseph Larson. This is probably the first design what he did in Tinkercad. So this was for the co uh, competition with the MakerBot, this machine here. Uh, we had the design challenge to design six pieces of chess. So king, queen, pawn, uh, bishop, rook, and knight. And he came up with this idea. So now you know who was the winner for sure. It's quite obvious. So you can take all these pieces off and you will have a chess game. So he made chess to, another, to the next level, for real. So let's go to the next one. Here we have Rui Brothers and their friend Dingo. They are from Florida and they have a great enthusiasm for tropical plants. So they just have an idea that, hey, how about we make planters with 3D printing? So now they have a full range of collection of different planters, which are really amazing. They are even selling them on Etsy nowadays. So that's also the same thing. Nobody said to them, hey, do this. They got their own idea. They just started to tinkering, and now they have an amazing collection of planters. So here we have a totally different story. This is Ole Olmason. Father of four, they bought a house five years ago, the family, and they had an idea and dream to build a patio. So they wanted the patio, it took some years to, be, to collect the money, and they had some plans, and last winter Ole found Tinkercad. He just wanted to give it a try. He didn't expect much, but then when he started and he realized that how easy it is to do with Tinkercad, he realized, hey, I can do the whole design here. And it's not that. He also could communicate with his wife all the time. Do you like this? Is the table too long or is it good? So in the end, when Ole went to the wood shop, he actually had exact measurements for the wood he needs. So in the end, he said that he had only short piece of plank of extra wood because he had all the measurements in Tinkercad, and that's it. And he just built it, and that's it. It's just another great story in Tinkercad. So here is one of our favorites for sure. This is Emily. She's a great railway enthusiast, a photographer and a graphic designer who had never done anything in 3D design before. He, she found Tinkercad in last April, and she decided to give a try for a Brewster station, as you see here. So it's the first station where she have took the first train uh, uh, trip from her childhood. So she have actually real memories to this place, and she is riding the Harm Harlem Line in New York, and she's also having a blog about this, uh, I write the Harlem Line dot com where she tells stories about people in the trains and about the history of the Harlem Line. So she just decided that, hey, let's have a first project. She was just messing around a little bit first, but this is actually her first project. And not less than that, that yesterday she got into Wired Magazine's blog with this creation. So you can think about that, that how powerful Tinkercad is. If you do your first project, you put some time and you get into the Wired magazine with that design. This is 3D printed with full color, like gypsum based material. So it's more to show, more to look. This is a great 
great material for architectural use and figures and so on. Just amazing story again. Uh, I will answer the questions right after the speech. Th I will, yeah, I will go to that. Here is a good example of our local people. Here is Mikko Kuitunen, who is a software engineer, not working for us, so I'm, I'm not sure I have never met him. But he also got involved with Tinkercad. And actually you see the skull design up there, and that's his first 3D print ever. He just got excited about 3D design because it was so easy, so simple to make. And you can see the amazing spaceship what he have done. And he have actually have give, given um, inst instructions about how to do this spaceship for other people. So he is also a great helper in our community. It's not only that she, he does uh, at home something, but he wants to help people to learn to do these kind of amazing creations. So the last and the most important is the designers of the future. So one of my favorite designs, it's not about the details, but uh, about the story behind, is the one up left on the top. The room there, room design, which is called my room in college. So KE's first comment for Danny who made this was, Danny, you're 10. It will take long time until you're in college. Nice room though. So it's not only about that they do these designs, but they have a great sense of humor as well. So they are community communicating with the Tinkercad to each other. It's not only that they just play around there. But here you can see, for example, there is the army troops of the penguins with the different hats, US Army. Down, down to it, there is a red cross of penguins. And then there is the penguins asking justice from the polar bears. So they're just having fun also. It's not only about doing toys and just playing around. So these are the designers of the future. Today they are making their toys already. But think about tomorrow. They are 10 to 11 year old and they are doing already amazing things. It took three weeks from Katie to do this robot there, the yellow one. Three weeks in Tinkercad and 11 year old Katie did that. So think about what you can do in your first days. So, it's Tinkercad.com, you can type it and just start it, tonight already. You might think that, okay, there must be some click or something, because it sounds so good. Well, it is so good as it is, it is and it sounds. It's easy to learn, it's easy to adopt, and you learn a lot by doing. So, it's totally free to get started with Tinkercad. So no subscriptions, nothing. You just type tinkercad.com and that's it. You can start to create your own products. Thank you. So I will show you a short video. A little bit you can see that how Tinkercad works. So let's see. It seems that there is no sound. Let's see if it was wrong plug. Nope. Well, I can tell you at the same time when the video goes, of course. So here is the editor where you actually do your design. So you bring basic geometrical shapes to the work plane and then you just start to design with them. 
it's about adding material and taking off material. So each shape, what you bring on the work plane, you can change it as a whole as well. So this way you create 3D designs. And because we have these lessons, you can easily learn how to do it by yourself. So here, for example, we are building a boat. This is just a toy, but it shows the easy way how you can create 3D in your browser at your home. So there you go. You have the base for the boat there, but it looks a bit tall, so you want to scale it a little bit low, um, smaller, but wider as well. So there you go. All the scaling tools are already in the object, so you don't have to find the tool from somewhere. It's already there. This is actually a bit older version, so now it's already updated so that you can actually align and mirror straight from your object when you make it uh, active. So because it's an online program, we actually deploy pretty much s every single work day. So there is coming all the time new features. It might be in the editor or in the user interface or in the community side. But it's constantly improving, getting better. It's not only that you get once a year some update and you cost, pay a big penny of it. It's free to do and it's constantly improving. So here you see, you can change the star to a hole. So you basically can punch a hole to the side of the boat. There you go. So that's the ready piece. But as I've shown you other things, this is just a really simple example of what you can do in Tinkercad. All the products here, what I have shown you, are also made in Tinkercad. Here we got the logo made of stainless steel. You can come here and uh, there is uh, earrings. You get the hooks from the service where you buy them. And uh, here we got the ruler, 3D printed in plastic and so on. There is endless possibilities. So. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> so, now the questions, if you had. Yep. Hi. Uh, I was inter interested about the train station. Yes. Uh, was it uh, printed with colors or painted afterwards? Printed with colors. Okay. There is one type of 3D printer which makes the colors Okay. Let me go to that point. Hopefully I will get there. But um, so there is gypsum based material. Uh, there is a different names. Some companies uh, says that it's a rainbow ceramic. Some, some companies says that it's a multicolor and so on. So there is different names which sometimes it's a bit bad thing because people get frustrated that what is this material? Is this different from the other service and so on? So but there is one type of machine which is possible to 3D print colors at the same time as the physical object. But most of the colors doesn't support color. Okay. So, but I guess those machines are a bit more expensive. <laughs> yeah, of course. So <laughs> those yeah. are the ones that you can't have at home. So home printers use basically uh, ABS plastic, which is the same plastic as Legos are made, and also PLA, which is a corn-based plastic. So be it's, you can throw it to your bio trash, actually. So there is also coming all the time better and more eco-friendly materials as well. So not only that it will come to next door of you, but it will also be products what you can have to use, throw to the trash without bad feeling about it, actually. Okay. So we are going there. It's not today yet that far, but in a few years. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Anyone else? More questions? There you go. Maybe I'll open the 
doors a little bit, so we Do have it. actually the chess piece coming here at the same time. It's nice. just the cardboard is that it keeps the, the warmth inside, so yeah. Do you have there. an estimate about uh, how much it would cost to print the, uh, the train station, for example? Uh, yeah, I checked that actually myself. So train station was, um, I think, 90 or 80 euros. So I know uh, it depends how you think about it, that which different products, but uh, because in 3D printing you can make one object. Let's say these eyeglasses. So I, I, I paid from these eyeglass frames uh, about 20 euros. So you can't find 20 euro eyeglasses anywhere really, unless you go to China and uh, get some just cheapest frames and so on. But uh, so it depends about how you think about it. But I can use the same file to make from titanium. And then it's another story. Probably it cost at least 400 euros then. But the same file what you have, you can do from different materials. So that's also which gives a lot of different possibilities. So let's go to the train station. Yep, there you go. As I said, Chris Anderson from Wired magazine tweeted about this like a week ago, and yesterday it was in their blog. So you can imagine how much buzz it makes for Emily and her blog. And I didn't mention, by the way, that she had put all those bricks by, by each of them as a single piece. They are not any kind of texture or map. They are different separate 3D cubes. So she has done amazing work, very detailed work and so on. And this is actually a replica of the original Broster station from 1930s, not how it looks today. It's pretty much the same, but there is, of course, nowadays there is a diner inside and so on. Any more questions? Well, you just mentioned she did all the bricks separately, so I suppose or Tinkercad would have a feature of doing like like a texture also maybe or com a, a feature coming so that you don't actually have to individually do all the blocks if you don't want to yeah yeah sure so sure, that's that's one of the features which are coming but uh, not at the moment okay. um, that's not kind of the one number one uh, feature yet so so that's why it's not there yet but yeah sure we will we will add that also importing other files will come soon. There is a plenty okay. of things which are coming, let's say, in the next month. As I said, we are constantly improving our service. Any more questions? So I have to thank you then. Thank you all for coming here. It was a great pleasure to have you here and uh, give you a speech about 3D printing and Tinkercad. Thank you. Thank you.